What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hold on. Ooh, say hi to him, bud. Such a good boy. These last couple of months have really made me rethink my daily routines, right? Being stuck inside for a while there, not really having a routine, eating whatever I wanted, gaining a lot of weight, not really working out. Um, it made me realize how essential it is to have a good base, a good foundation for your day, right? In the last month or so, I've really dialed in a routine that for me has been almost perfect. So in this video, what I want to do is show you what I do every single morning that I feel like not only sets your day up for success, but keeps you succeeding in the long term, right? Because a wise man once said, you can judge a man's character based on his routine, but if he's eating peanut butter out of the jar, he ain't the crop of the cream. I think that's how it went. <laughs> I'm not sure. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! Hard to do that outside when you got neighbors. Whoopsie! I want this video to be a real no BS morning routine, right? I've watched a few of these videos and certain people are like, you gotta wake up, you gotta have your special drink, you gotta do this, it's gonna make you burn extra fat throughout the day. Screw all that. No bro science here, just legit. What I think works, if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to burn fat, if you're just trying to be in better shape overall, build muscle, this is what I do. So starting with numero uno, you can't have a good morning without a good night's sleep. I am the type of guy, I used to stay up until crap, man, two to three, a.m. every single night I'll be playing video games and be doing whatever and then I would still try to get up early I'll try to get up at like eight nine o'clock right and I always wondered why I never felt optimal in the morning I always felt like crap I never want to do anything I want to wake up I want to sit around and check my phone for hours one thing I did and I know this might this might sound crazy but I promise you can do it that helped me tremendously was to give myself a bedtime and I'm not talking like mom giving you a bedtime you gotta be in bed by a certain I'm not talking like that but I'm talking like give yourself a range of time right I like to be laying down in bed for sleep no later than 10 o'clock at night. Does that make me an old man? Maybe a little bit. But what it allows me to do is not only recover better, get better sleep, wake up with more energy, but start my day off on the right foot, man. Instead of having to pound 10 coffees, five energy drinks, just to like feel somewhat awake during the day, when I go to bed early enough, everything's better, right? I can get up early, it's, it's all better. So I'm telling you, step number one, having a good morning is to have a good night. Make sure you're getting enough sleep. I always recommend a minimum of like seven hours. And I just realized I hopped in here with shoes on. Not my proudest moment. I'm gonna give you my number one sleep hack real quick so I know it'll help some of you guys out there. I used to be a big, had to turn the TV on, had to have something going on in order to sleep, right? But what I do is I set up fans in here so I have two fans going. That helps more than you even know. But if you don't do a fan, what I still do regardless is I have an iPad here. It's like my bedtime iPad. I have no social media on this thing, nothing. It's literally just a web browser and a couple apps like My Fitness Pal if I wanna plan my meals out or whatever, and a couple other things. But the big one on here is Audible, right? I like to put audiobooks on while I'm sleeping. I have a little Bluetooth speaker on the side of my bed. Basically, I like listen to a book or a podcast to work too. But like something about listening and not seeing, like it forces me to like close my eyes. I'm listening, I'm kind of getting invested in the story. It seems like just about by the time like things are getting good in the book, Boom, I pass out. And for me, that's been a game changer because uh, if this happens to you, comment below, but like if I just try to go to sleep and just like go lay down, my mind just races and races and races. And uh, that doesn't really work well with trying to get good sleep. And if we're not sleeping good, we're, we're not growing, we're not burning as much fat. Cause a lot of our fat loss, a lot of our muscle growth and repair happens while we're asleep. Who'd have thought the morning routine video would have started off with uh, the night before? I'm telling you, that's crucial step number one. So now let's fast forward. So let's assume you had a good night's sleep. Let's assume you had a bedtime. You went to bed around 10, 10.30, when should you wake up? For me, if I'm trying to get as much done as possible in the day, I think waking up between like six to 7 a.m. is perfect. I've done the 4.30 a.m. thing, and then I guess real old after a while, real old. And I've done later, like 9, 10. And honestly, I guess whatever works for your schedule, but for me, I have to wake up, I gotta film, edit, I have a lot of clients that I work with. It's overall a bunch of crap, man, and I like to get my day jump started. So for me, typically, it's like 6.30 a.m. So let's assume you had a good night's sleep. Let's assume everything's good, right? Boom, 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 alarm goes off at 6.30. The first thing I do is, come on, I walk in here, I walk to the good old fashioned commode, and I use the bathroom. All right, that's step one. Wake up, use the bathroom. Now that leads directly into step two, which is head over to your weight scale and weigh yourself. We need that weigh in every single morning after using the restroom and before drinking anything, because that's gonna be the most accurate weigh in you got for the day. If you try to weigh yourself at night, you got all the food you've eaten all day, all the water you drink, all that is gonna increase your weigh in, and I've actually 
actually worked with clients before, they would send me emails saying they were upset because they gained weight throughout the day. And I'm like, ah, uh, it's not how it works. Weigh yourself at the same time every single day. And once you get that number, you do this. You pull up the MyFitnessPal app, go down to the bottom for progress, and you can press plus, and you can record your daily weight right here. You can even add a progress photo. You can see here this morning, 177.6 for me, Wednesday, 177.6, 176.8 on Tuesday, and so on and so forth. And you can take all your weigh-ins, add them up, divide them by seven for the week, and that's your average daily weigh-in. And that directly leads into what makes you successful long-term with any diet, with fat loss, with bodybuilding, whatever your goal is, right? This is what makes you successful is the accountability factor. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. When I when this quarantine started, I went on my little bender, I was eating whatever, I wasn't working out. I refused to weigh myself because that is a reminder that I'm messing up, man. I, I was scared of it. I didn't wanna see it. And I know a lot of us probably get into that same mindset where we don't wanna see that number because if it goes up, we're gonna beat ourselves up. But the opposite happens when that number goes down. The opposite happens when you wake up and you're feeling leaner, you're looking tighter, you can see what you're doing working is you're proud of yourself, right? You don't beat yourself up, allow yourself to be proud of yourself. And that's why we weigh ourselves every day because the first thing we do in our brain when we wake up is we see our results. We can actually put a number to it. We can see all the work is actually paying off. First thing, weigh yourself, track it, and you're gonna be better for it. I promise, we can't shy away from it. If we've been messing up, we can't just wallow and hide, man. We gotta take ownership of the fact that we're screwing up. We have to, right? We don't succeed without that. So that's the second thing I do every morning. Weigh myself, track my weight, boom, we're good. Step three, I open up my little cabinet here and I pull out my vitamin D3. If you live in a place that doesn't get a lot of sunlight, if you're inside a lot, which right now we all are, you may have suffered from a seasonal depression before. And that's a lot of times that's to do with your vitamin D3 being too low. Not only is this great for your immune system, but it just makes you feel better overall. So this is like the only supplement that I would say I really religiously take like every single day. It's because it's the one I can actually feel. Mm -hmm. Ah. Spicy. That's about 8,000 I use a day. Some days it's six, some days it's 10. I take it every day. So that's the third thing I do. Close that up. Don't tell them my toilet paper's in there. Can't afford a robbery at this crucial stage. And now on to what I would consider the most important thing. Let's go. So let's recap. We slept good, right? We made sure we had a good night's sleep. We woke up, got our way in in. Crucial, we tracked it, we're logging it. Took some vitamin D3 to hopefully help with our depression. And then now we burn some calories and we prime our metabolism for the rest of the day. In case you missed it, this is my little at-home cardio bundle of joy. I got a video on it. I'll link it in the description if you want to check that video out. 45 bucks at Walmart. Best investment I've ever made. If you need an at-home cardio machine, you don't want to spend $3,000, $4,000 on a crazy stair stepper, stair master, treadmill combo, whatever, or you just don't want to take it up space, this little guy is a lifesaver, man. I just put it right here at the foot of my bed. Obviously, you can do your cardio anywhere. I do it here because I don't want to wake my puppy up too early. I like to wake up and knock this out before I take him outside, but I'm doing 40 minutes of cardio right away. And you obviously don't have to do your cardio right away, but I find that if I just knock it out first thing in the morning, not only do I have way more energy for the rest of the day, I feel amazing, I feel accomplished, but it's done. The chances of me skipping it later are impossible. I can't skip it because I've already knocked it out. And the most important part, even more important than weight training, when it comes to burning fat, is doing your cardio in order to mobilize that fat and burn more calories. I've tried dieting a lot with just weight training, and weight training doesn't burn near as many calories as you think it does. If you want an honest to God's calorie burn, you gotta do your cardio. You just have to. I've never been able to get shredded without cardio and uh, it's held true for like five years. So a little guy like this is easy. I put it right here at the foot of my bed because I can kind of lean on this thing and then boom. Just knock it out, right? Here we go, 40 minutes. And you might think 40 minutes seems like a long time, but all you gotta do, man, get your phone, get some headphones or not, these are optional. I have to work up to these, that's a pro step. Been doing this a while. Put a show on Netflix, find a podcast, find your favorite music album. Listen to Summer Samurai, Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music. And before you know it, your cardio is over and done with. Just find a show on Netflix you were gonna watch later on the couch for 40 minutes and watch it while you do this. And I always say the first 10 minutes is always kind of like, Ah, dang it, you're waking up, you know, whatever. The next 10 minutes easier, the last half of the cardio, you're like in heaven. You like legit get a runner's high. So this is the most important thing, I would say, for me at least, this is just get this done, get this out of the way. We don't gotta think about it later. Once this is done, we hop in the shower, put on some fresh clothes, some deodorant, you don't wanna stink, and then we move on to the final step, and I would say arguably almost as important as this. Well, more important than the big, you'll see what I mean. Come on, we then 
come to the kitchen and we're gonna cook something for ourselves that is gonna set the rest of our day up for success, right? A recipe that's high in protein, a recipe that's going to fuel your body after the workout you just gave it and leave you feeling full and satisfied. So what does, what does a recipe like that look like? If you don't follow my channel religiously, you can check out any of the recipes I post. I just did a French toast peanut butter and jelly recipe, which was, oh my God. Make some anabolic French toast, make some protein pancakes, make an omelet. Really, it's just about getting in a routine of eating better. What good is it if we do all that work and then we run to McDonald's and order a number three with a large drink and then boom, we just ate every single calorie we burnt and then some. I always say, when it comes to fat loss, when it comes to body recomposition, when it comes to building muscle, you absolutely have to fuel your body the right way. It's like 80% diet, 20% training. You can't out train a bad diet. So you gotta fuel yourself right. If you think you don't have time to cook breakfast, you're lying to yourself. Set your bedtime, wake up, plan ahead, right? Think about how much time you're gonna need. 40 minutes of cardio, five minutes to get your way in, use the bathroom, whatever. 15 to shower, and then you're gonna need 15 minutes to do your breakfast. You might think you don't have time, but you do. I promise, you can always get up earlier. I used to think I never had the time. Then I just uh, realized I was being a little sissy, and I did have the time. And if you absolutely have to cut corners somewhere, you can always do this. Get you a protein bar, right? This is a frozen Quest bar. Great way to start the day. Get some protein, some carbs, some fiber, minimal fat, boom. You can always rock that. Or get you a high quality protein like Final Boss Whey. Available on finalbossformers.com, Ramsdale.com with free two-day shipping, boom. Blend up some frozen berries in there. Throw some unsweetened almond milk in there. And there you go, bud. Quick, easy, efficient. And then after all of those things are done, right? Weigh in, cardio, healthy breakfast. Then it's time to get to work. Whatever you do for a living, go do that. For me, it involves a lot of uh, computer work, a lot of editing videos, a lot of shooting videos, whatever. From that point on, you have started your day in such a way to where you, you really don't want to cheat. How likely are you to do everything we did this morning and then think later on, well, I'm just gonna order a pizza. For me, when I start my day like this, I, there's literally like zero margin for error. At that point, I'm like, man, we've already done all this work. We've already put all the work in. We've done the hardest stuff. Why would I let something like cheating on my diet slow me down now? I really do believe if you get yourself into a routine, into a rhythm, right? It might seem a little goofy the first week you do it. You might be fighting against it. You might be like, I can't do this long term. But I'm telling you, you get through that first week, you eventually become addicted to how you feel. I'm literally a happier person when I look in the mirror and I don't have Dunlap belly going on. <laughs> you know, when your belly Dunlap over your belt. When I can see my muscle separation, when I can see the hard work, I feel way better. And then not only that, not only am I happier with that, I just oh, all around feel better. I don't need all the caffeine. I don't need all the coffee. I don't need all of that to try to chase happiness all day because I just feel good. When you feel good, you perform better. When you perform better, life's better. For real. And don't take my word for it, man. Just give it a try. And you don't got to do exactly what my morning routine is. This is just one that works perfectly for me, right? Maybe your routine is a little different. But all I'm telling you is that if you get into a routine and you prioritize things like weighing yourself for accountability, getting a good night's sleep to make sure your next day you can be the best version of you, getting your cardio in because Lord knows none of us are doing any movement outside of that cardio, and four, fueling yourself the right way, you're gonna come away from it in a way better spot. And I promise you, if you do those things, you're gonna see results. At the end of the day, that's it. You're gonna see results. Every action creates an equal and opposite reaction. You put the work in, you have no choice but to see results. That's it. Smash that thumbs up button for me if you like this video if you got any type of uh, value out of it that'd be awesome and if all of this is confusing you don't know how much food you should be eating how much you should be weighing out or how to separate your meals check out RomeToJamesFitness.com. i can put together a meal plan for you i'll make it so easy that literally all you got to do is follow it comment anything down below comments are good for the algorithm and uh, lord knows we need all the help we can get and now i got a puppy to go pet so thank you guys as always for watching and uh, until next time man i will see each and every one of you at the next video see you guys